Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the law of cosines as it applies to problems involving vectors. In particular, I want to look at the example, a man stuck in quicksand is being pulled by two tractor trailers. Truck 1 applies 1200 newtons and truck 2 applies 1700 newtons. The angle between the trucks is 72 degrees. What is the magnitude of the resultant force? Okay, before we get started, let's just take a look at a visual of this problem. Let's try to model this problem. We have a guy stuck in quicksand, maybe waist deep, and we have one truck pulling him, applying 1200 newtons of force. The second truck is applying 1700 newtons of force, creating an angle of 72 degrees. So we have 1700 newtons of force, and there's a 72 degree angle between the two vectors. So let's go ahead and we'll get a little visual here. We have this truck here pulling this guy. Okay. And now the other truck is pulling him in this direction here. Okay. So now we're trying to find the resultant force, which Intuition allows us to see that this resultant force will be going in this direction here. But this is where, what are we going to need to solve this problem? Well, we're going to need the law of cosines to find this missing or this resultant force. The law of cosines is going to tell us the magnitude of this resultant force here. And the law of cosines states a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine theta equals c squared. So somehow we need to set up a side angle side relationship between some triangle to find the missing side C, or in this case, the resultant force. And next, we're going to need the parallelogram law, which this problem is really just a vector addition problem. And the parallelogram law allows us to construct two additional vectors that will terminate at the same point of the resultant force. And we know using parallelogram properties that this side here is going to be 1200 newtons and that this vector here is going to be 1700 newtons. But now the property of parallelograms tells us, well, we have this 72 degree angle here, but consecutive angles in a parallelogram must sum to 180 degrees. So if we have 72 degrees at this angle here, one of the angles at these two points here would have to be 108 degrees. Keeping in mind that if we sum those together, this brings us to 180 degrees. So this missing angle is 108 degrees, and this missing angle here is also 108 degrees. So now, so the goal of finding, the point of finding 108 degrees was because we can't use this 72 degree angle, because this resultant force is going to be breaking this 72 degree angle into an indeterminate number of pieces. We could find it later in the problem, but for now we're interested in this 108 degree angle. So now let's go ahead and sketch this problem in terms of a simpler triangle. So we're looking at some triangle here with side lengths 1200, 1700, and an angle of 108 degrees. And we're trying to find the resultant force, which is this missing side, C. So now let's go ahead and identify, we have, let's say, A equal to 1200, B equal to 1700. We're looking at a theta of 108 degrees. Keep in mind we have this side angle side relationship that we need to use this law of cosines and we're looking for the missing side C. So now let's go ahead and apply this information to the law of cosines and we can find this resultant force. So we have A squared or we have 1200 squared plus B squared which is 1700 so we have 1700 squared minus 2 times a, in this case A is 1200, times B, which is 1700, times cosine of angle theta. So we have cosine of 108 degrees. And this is equal to 
c squared. So now let's go ahead and simplify this. We have 1200 squared is 144, well we have 144 and we're going to have four zeros. Later on we are going to need a calculator to find cosine of 108 degrees and to add everything together. We don't want to do this by hand. We have 289 and four zeros. And now for this part I'm going to use a calculator. We have 2 times 1200 times 1700 cosine of 108 degrees. This is going to give us a negative 1260789.337. And this equals c squared. But now let's go ahead and add all of this together. So we have 144, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, plus 289, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Now minus a negative, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this. 260789.337. And now we're going to get 5590789.337. This is equal to c squared. So now what we need to do is take the square root of this enormous number. And what do we get? We get that c is equal to 2,364. And I'll go to the thousandths place, 485, because we have 485005. So this value of C is in fact our resultant force. So we could go ahead and label, we have our resultant force is 2,364. 0.485 newtons. Here. Okay, well this is going to conclude this problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.